morning! I am in a place called New Mills today, in particular somewhere called The Tours. Now this has been made very popular by what you can see behind me, which is called the Millennium Walkway, which was built in the year 2000. Now before that, this was just a huge gorge and a river that was kind of a bit decrepit, it wasn't in the best condition, but because this walkway is here, it has made it into a beautiful area to come and walk. So I thought I'd bring you along with me today. I'm currently standing somewhere called Rock Mill, which is the ruins of an old water-powered cotton spinning mill. Now this was built in the 1790s and it was built here in this expansive area around the River Goit. About 40 years later, things like the steam engine and dining rooms and things were added to this complex. And then I think later on than that, it turned to some kind of paper mill. But within about 100 years, it was all abandoned and ended up falling into disrepair. But now it seems that the wildlife has taken over. I am now in the ruins of yet another mill. There's a theme going on here today. And this one is called Tor Mill. Now this was built in 1790 by the Schofield family. And that's what it was mainly known as, Schofield Mill. What I really like in this one is this tree carving. Somebody's actually carved salmon into it. It looks fantastic. about the wildlife here at New Mills and the reason why that they've got that salmon carving is because the Atlantic salmon have actually been absent from this New Mills from the River Goyne for over a century but they are now returning because the water has improved, they've been removing the weirs and they've also been building these passes for the fish to go up which is incredible news.
it's been so nice walking along all these rocks and in particular what I like is all these trees can you see behind me here kind of growing out of the rocks just midway obviously some kind of deposit from the birds or some animals but it's so fascinating looking up and seeing the tree roots above you as you're walking but this area is obviously very popular for rock climbing it seems to be somewhere where a lot of people like to come and practice a little bit of rock climbing it's not too high but there's some real good ridges and edges and there's still some signs of ropes and cables and things that are left on there. I have spent a lovely time walking along this canal, it's Peak Forest Canal, 14.8 miles long it is, and it has been absolutely delightful walking along, looking at all the birds and the squirrels and the ducks, I even saw a heron which was fascinating to see so close as well, it didn't want to go anywhere. 
but all these beautiful canal boats. It's so interesting to see each one decorated so intricately. It has been utterly lovely today. It is getting a little bit busier. It is Sunday and also the heavens are just opening so it started to rain and it is forecast to be raining for the rest of the day. So I will say goodbye now, put my camera away and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.